Hey, Road Runners, welcome back to Lib Medallion. It's Friday night before a big game. Do you think this is our biggest game of the season in conference? Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. I, I do. I don't know why I do. Now, you know, I'm being full disclosure. I felt we'd only have two wins by now. And we've got four in conference. I go off what my eyeballs see. I saw a bad football team out there playing against Army. Previous games, I wouldn't have said this, but Army, yep. Anyway, here we are. We're 4-0 on conference with four games to go. We're half, we're, we're at the 50-year we're at the mark, mid-century mark, right? And we're 4-0. and Would you believe that Texas, North Texas would still be the big game on our schedule? See, I think it is. This is the game that determines how we approach our season going forward the rest of this year. If we lay an egg here, it, it can't happen. Now, here's going to be our problem. They are prolific offensively. They get better running, better, better passing, fewer turnovers, but they are prolific in allowing yards and allowing points, right? We're a much better defensive football team. Our only common opponent is Temple. They played Temple after we played Temple. They beat Temple 45-14 at home. We lost to Temple. We beat Temple 49-34. Right? Frank's first game back. So do we, how do we feel? I'm scared. And here's the reason why I'm scared. This is one of those matchups that they're so good offensively that they could take our defense right out of it, right? Our defense might not even matter. And we're going to have to just simply outscore them. And we're listed as an eight, seven and a half point favorite. And everyone's saying take, take North Texas in the points. So that tells me that they think they're going to score with us, right? They don't think, they're not taking... Temple outright, they're saying Temple in the points, right? So that means Temple could win outright. Their, their leading passer, Rodgers, 2,173 yards already this season. Remember, we're at the eighth game of the season, so are they. I believe they are. I don't think I think they've had a week off already. 19 TDs, only one interception. Frank has 13 TDs, six interceptions. For 1,588 yards. Now, Frank missed two games, right? So with that being said, there's probably 400, 400 yards in this new thing. Kind of close, but still not that close, right? They've played Tulane. They put up 28 on Tulane. They lost 35-28. Put up 42 on Memphis. They let Memphis get out ahead of them big, and they came storming back. So I'm telling you, this is going to be a – this is what I said. This is a big – Important game. I do believe the series is tied five games apiece. I do believe we've played 10 times. And, a, and with our last two wins, that evened out the series. The last nine, they've won the last nine. Uh, five of the last nine, right? So I know we won the first game up in Denton. I do believe we won the next game at home. I could be wrong. And uh, because we've only won one time up there. So I do believe that gives us four plus two is six. So it's six to five. I think we took the lead six to five in the series. We played them a lot. I mean, we played them every year starting year two because we're in the conference. We're on the same side of the conference. We're going to play. Now, apparently, we're not going to play North Texas a lot or, or, or permanent. We're going to play Rice permanent. I hate that. I, I, I do. I If you're not – look – if you're not going to have divisions, then you don't need a permanent opponent on the opposite side. You just don't need permanent opponent. If you're going to have a permanent opponent, make three or four of them, right? Make three. Like, why isn't we had SMU, now that SMU has left, we're bringing them Army. Now make UTSA, Rice, and Texas play each other, all play each other. Our permanent, 
permanent thing, then rotate the other teams with their other six games. Do that. That's how it should be, in my opinion. What do I know? What do I know? What do I know? Right? Even the SEC is going away from what they pioneered as the first championship game ever. They had divisions. You had six on your side, five on your side. I'm sorry, when they first started, they had six on each side. Five on your side, he played three on the opposite side. And he had a permanent opponent on the opposite side to fill out the way SEC has traditional uh, rivals, right? To allow Alabama to play Tennessee every year and vice versa, right? But you rotated the other two games, just right down the schedule. Now, they added two more teams pretty quickly. Well, not pretty quickly, like 20 years. So that made it a little different. They kept their one opponent, their one permanent opponent, and then rotated one team, right? Now that they've added two more teams, they're going to go to this same stupid thing. I don't get it. I, 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 don't, I don't see the need. Well, I get it. It's TV. It's revenue. It's a way to lock out the G5 with the new expanded conferences. Because trust me, when they go to 12, there might be one G5 out of 12. Might, maybe two. Might get lucky. But do you really think they're not going to take three Big Tens? Three SECs. Well, there you go. You're already at six of the 12. One, well, I would say one pack 12. One big 12. There you're at seven. Now the ACC, you could take take an argument for two. They could say two ACCs better than, well, guess where we're at now. And then in, in the year when you have years where the, where the SEC has an undefeated in-conference Alabama, an undefeated in-conference or an undefeated Georgia, then you have Oklahoma and Texas all with one loss. Now you you are blocking out the G5. Look at look at the rankings. The G5s are blocked out. That's why I don't like this schedule. That's why I don't like it. It, it serves no purpose, right? But we got to do what we got to do to make more money. We're going to have to get pressure, and our offensive line is going to have to stuff that run like they've never stuffed the run before. Because our hybrid backers are going to have to step back into coverage and catch people coming out of the backfield, right? They're going to have. They're just going to have to. That's how it's going to have to be. So we're going to have to get a push and push those guys back into Rogers and get after them, right? And our offensive line is going to have to step up. Barnes is going to have to be healthy. That'll allow Robert Henry, after Barnes uses his size and his power to kind of slow them down to allow Henry and Griffin to use their, their little bit more speed, right? A little bit more shiftiness. I'm worried. I ain't gonna lie. I mean, we should be. We should be. This is the only team that we have been, that we have overcome a deficit in the series to tie them or maybe take the lead. But they're an even football team regardless of record. They are an even football team regardless of record. I was there when we had them beat. They went 58 seconds, 90 something, 97 yards, 58 seconds. I was in the stadium for that game. I was in the stadium for the butt whooping they gave us when Leroy Watson got hurt, right? That was ugly. That, that was just straight up ugly. I mean, we fumbled the ball through interceptions, whatever. Wasn't in the stadium for the beat down in the rain. I was supposed to go to the game this year, but things fell out, fell, fell, fell by the wayside. So that's a five hour drive up, five hour drive back. Uh, riding partner didn't feel like staying overnight. So decided to just, I'll watch it on ESPN Plus. I hate doing that, but that is a long drive, right? If you don't stay overnight, that's a long drive by yourself. I really don't feel like going to the game by myself either. So I'll hold a host watch party. Watch it here. It comes down to, I am telling you, our defensive line has to get a push and has to stuff the help help stuff the run. Right? Force them one dimensional into passing. Because if we let their running game go, we're in big trouble. And then it's about our offensive line giving Frank all the time in the world and our running game. Slowing the game down. We got to slow the game down. I'm a firm believer that with this these new clock rules, you got to slow the game down. From, from play one, 
You got to keep that other team's defense on the field. We learned that lesson the hard way against Army, right? 45 minutes o'clock. Beat our defense down. We, we just stopped being able to tackle at all, right? We made some stops, but then we didn't move the ball. Our guys got tired instantly again in the second half. It's what we've got to do to them. We've got to make their already shaky defense shakier than what it is. But like I said, with, that, what, I, with what I said, if I look at their last five, I'm going to look at their entire schedule. Their last five, they, they played Tulane. They haven't played SMU yet. They play SMU next. Oh, here we go. They played, they started off with Cal. They lost FIU. That's what's weird. And FIU ain't doing that much. They beat La Tech. Then they beat Abilene Christian. They're three and five, right? One and three in conference. So they're already out of the conference race, but they're motivated to ruin our chance at conference championship game. We're lucky we, we don't play Memphis or SMU that working in our favor, but we do finish with Tulane, right? I think we beat Tulane. I do. If they, if they can score on Tulane, so can we. I'm just going to say that. Their, their offense is better, but w when I look at it, I'm going to look at this again real quick. They're, they're scoring about what we score with whoever we play. But that's scary. Our defense is probably going to be tested the most here, even more so than, than, than Tennessee, to be honest with you. Tennessee was just bigger, stronger, faster, right? We kind of expected that. But this is a team on our par on our level that is going to stress us. And I'm concerned. We're going to have to have a big game. This is short. I know I, I usually do a longer one. I try to get a little bit more in depth, but does it really matter? They pass for more yardage than we do as a team. They run for more yardage than we have as a team. Their defense is giving up way more yardage, way more points than we have as a team. We're a little bit more balanced, and that's going to have to come through. Our offense, our play calling is going to have to help our defense. If we get a 14-point lead, any point of the game, get off the gas, slow it down, use all 40 seconds or whatever seconds of the play clock we have. Keep that play clock running. Keep their defense on the field. Don't throw incomplete passes. You know, don't don't rush it too quick. Now, every, we get a big play. I, I I agree. Go rushing it, but run run the ball, right? Get up there and then run the ball. See if you catch them slacking, right? And run the ball. We have to do that. Anyway, Roadrunners, peace out. Uh, I would live stream the game, but because it's ESPN Plus, I have to uh, use my laptop. My TV system won't let me do it unless you have an Apple TV, right? I'll give it a try. I'll log in. I'll pull up ESPN. I'll log in and see if it'll let me live stream. If it does, well, then, I'll, I mean, not live stream, but use my smart TV. If it lets me, if they've now fixed that, then I will live stream during the game. Maybe not. I'm trying to host a wasp party. Peace out. Birds up. Beat UNT.